All right, so one of the things that we have to do as part of this K24, K20 swap is we're gonna be putting in the K20 oil pump uh, that we've been working on. And we've got, there's an, another section of video that will show what we had to do there to make sure that oil pump would fit on the K24 block. But the other thing is, is you've got this, uh, to have a little bit better oil pressure on this block using the K20 oil pump is this little port here has to be plugged. Okay, and not just with this, the plug that's in there stock. So you have to pull that out. So that sits flat down in there. You're not gonna get down there with a fingernail and pull it out. So what we did is there's a tiny little hole uh, at the very beginning and we got a really fine wood screw because you want something that has as fine a threads with as sharp a point as possible. And just with, with some good pressure on the screwdriver, right, as you're pushing down in there, kind of pushing down really good, letting that bite in, you'll get to a point where that plug will, will begin to rotate a little bit and, it, and it's just, you, you won't be able to get any more. Um, but you should have some pretty good bite on there and you're just gonna take that, you know, with a pair of pliers, you could probably do with your hands, you're just gonna pull it out, okay? If you're concerned about it going, you know, possibly falling down in the engine block there, hopefully you've either got a magnetic tool that can reach down there and get it, or you might want to take some towels and just kind of stuff in the different spots there. So if it comes out and separates from the screw, you'll, it, you won't have to worry about it falling down in the block. So the next thing we're going to have to do, as you can see down in there, it's already threaded. Uh, we're going to find a, a short bolt to thread down in there with a little Honda bond after we clean it up and get that, that seated down in there. And I'll uh, make another video uh, to tag onto this in just a second here, showing the size bolt and then how we did all that as well. All right, so we found a bolt that will fit this in this, in this plug here, in this oil port. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll have to find out later uh, what the thread size or thread pitches on this I they really had to go through a bucket of old stuff until I found something that worked cleaned it off went with this one's got kind of a pan head on it but one of the things I wanted to show as part of this no matter what you do decide to go with let me get this all the way down on here when you put the k20 oil baffle on there there's a couple things you want to make sure of one, obviously the thread fits, but the other is when that oil baffle is on, that the head of that bolt doesn't interfere in any way, shape or form with how this baffle will, will set on there, okay? And um, so you don't wanna have anything binding up in that area there, okay? So just keep that in mind because you, you may have a, a thread that'll fit but you have a larger head size here this is actually a 10 millimeter head but i've seen some people have talked about 12 millimeter um you know bolts and so obviously you start you start getting up in size you may run into an issue with that that oil baffle so the thread size i will i'll find that out and that will be part of our in the description so that you all have that so the other thing I just thought of too, uh, in regards to going maybe once one that has a pan head on it, I would stay away from a washer, just because it's a you know it's a second piece of hardware you got down down in the lower end of the engine, and there's just something about having extra parts down here that I don't like. So this is just a preference. But with that pan head on there, that flange head on there, one of the advantages you also have is that when that oil pan baffle or the oil baffle goes on there. Even if that were to come loose and back out a little bit, it's going to bottom out in that baffle and won't come loose and be able to get into the, you know, basically ruin your engine. So that's that's something I wanted to point out. The other thing is I, I'm, I wondered about, like, how tight that should go down. And I haven't put any Honda Bond on there yet. I'll do that in just a second. But what I did do is I, I tightened it down with a wrench. Till I felt, hey, this thing is down pretty snug. I didn't ape it down on there, but I did go pretty snug. You know, it's an aluminum block, so you want to be careful. You don't want to strip anything out. But it's on there snug. 
and then I stuck my, my torque wrench on there and hopefully you can make that out basically about 22 foot pounds is what I'm at okay and that with the Honda bond you should be good to go first Okay, let's put a little Honda Bond on the threads here. You don't need to go crazy. We're just basically looking for that to kind of work into the threads. Okay. We'll get a little bit, we'll wipe off what we don't, what we don't get on there, but we're going to go a little bit around the, the head of this. My understanding is that in doing this, you increase or you, you allow the oil pressure on this particular mod to stay up about 15 or 20 pounds. So we'll put a little bit. I know we're doing a little overkill here, but. Like that. Keep that bad boy. all the way down there okay you see we get a little bit of a little bit of it that smushes out get this Honda bond off my fingers I'll take a wrench snug it down and then we'll do our torque at 20 and that's it we'll clean this up around here a little bit but uh, that's all you got to do